In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the clock tool in Active Inspire. And it's actually a fairly tool to easy tool to use with the exception of the sound that you can play at the end of a countdown. So for instance, you go under tools, down to more tools, and you can bring out the clock. This is kind of nice if you want to do an activity for a minute or five minutes and have some sound go out, off at the end. So if you're going to do countdown, you click on this countdown arrow and you have to put in your time. So I usually hit reset, reset, and then I might just put in a minute just by clicking on that up arrow after selecting those middle numbers. Now here's the hard part here because otherwise it's quite easy and you can have actions that follow at the end of the countdown and those are pretty straightforward. The tricky part is the sound. What you need to do is you need to click on this dot, dot, dot and find a folder with sound files in it, but they have to be a certain format, and that is WAV files. So if I click dot, 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 you can see that I have a, a folder selected here with these AIFF files. Well, those don't work for this. So if you click, I got nothing. So what I do is dot, dot, dot. I'm going to bring this in for you to see and I'm going to look for a sounds folder and most of the time you will be able to find one on your computer but they have to be um, files that end in .wav so there's an example there you go there's some musical sounds they all end in .wav so if I choose that folder now when I click here I have the ability to choose a sound click OK and my countdown's going to begin, and after a minute, I will hear that guitar sound.